Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Congressman Tom Rooney here to give you an update as to what happened this week in Congress. Congress passed a bill to extend the Veterans Choice Program for another three years. The Veterans Choice Program allows veterans to schedule medical appointments with local participating providers if the VA facility is too far away or is unable to see them within 30 days. This is especially important for veterans in rural communities like many of those in Florida's heartland that I represent. Since its start in 2014, the program has been used by more than 12 million veterans. Although the Choice Program has had its problems, allowing the program to end in August as it was originally supposed to would be a disservice to our veterans and likely disrupt medical care for many. I'm confident that as a member of the Appropriation Subcommittee on Veterans Affairs, I can work with the new Secretary of Veterans Affairs to improve the program so that it works best for our veterans. Also this week, I co-sponsored a resolution introduced by Congressman Sam Johnson, a former POW in the House, and of course, Senator John McCain in the Senate, which calls for the Department of Defense to intensify efforts to investigate, recover, and identify all missing and unaccounted for personnel of the United States. Currently, there are 83,000 American service members who are still unaccounted for around the world. I proudly join Congressman Johnson and Senator McCain to ensure that we do everything that we can as a government to account for Americans missing from our nation's past wars and conflicts. Also this week, I introduced a bill with Virginia Democrat Jerry Connolly entitled the Families of Fallen Service Members First Act. This bill will ensure the immediate payment of military death benefits to survivors of fallen service members during a federal government shutdown or any other circumstance when federal spending authority lapses. After the 2013 government shutdown, the House passed another measure similar to this, but that was temporary. This bill would make permanent the appropriation for military death benefits and other survivor benefits, protecting military families of fallen service members from congressional inaction. Politics should never impact the families of fallen service members, period. Also this week, I met with the Florida Army Corps of Engineers to talk about how critical it is for Florida that we properly fund the Herbert Hoover Dyke and Lake Okeechobee, Everglades restoration efforts, and beach renourishment of Minnesota Key. Nearly every single congressional district across this country has an Army Corps project in it, and it is imperative that they prioritize these projects properly. I've introduced legislation to give that power back to Congress to decide where the Army Corps funding goes in an effort to better advocate for these projects in Washington. The Army Corps is too important to not be funded directly from Congress, not the faceless Washington bureaucrats. And finally, as you know, I'm a member of the House Intelligence Committee. I've been asked, along with Mike Conway of Texas and Trey Gowdy of South Carolina, to help lead the investigation regarding Russia. I am confident that we will follow the facts where they lead us and reveal the truth to the American people. That's all I have for you this week. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this message, and I hope you and your families have a great weekend.